right, part two, uh, where I left off, cut the cable tie. Zip, zip tie, that off. Oops. Now we pull my uh, my tail light off. Actually, I like this tail light. A lot of people don't like this thing, but I actually like it. It's a nice LED um, uh, tail light. Okay, so from there, we need to take off these four here. And these four here, and actually, and also this one right here. Uh, bolt. Should be my wrench. This is one of the bolts that that holds the plate on the bottom to this top piece here. So let's take that off. Now we're going to do the of these four again. I believe this is a this is a Torx uh, yeah number twenty. Oh, that's really loose. No, no pressure on those. Maybe this is was screwed on with a with a screwdriver type handle instead of a wrench uh, type handle. That's my extension. Extension. Huh. That's weird. I just have the extension. Now it's disappeared. I like, to, I like to put the extension on here so I could turn the screws easier. But also, my <laughs> place is somewhere. I, I, don't, I don't see it. I just had it like a second ago. I knew because I separated it from the uh, from the from the uh, hmm. So this feels like feels like aluminum. So it's aluminum. Uh, it's an aluminum uh, button head Torx bolt. Very light. That's kind of cool. I was surprised it did that. I'm not sure what would be cheaper, aluminum or uh, stainless steel. But, uh, it's definitely, definitely aluminum. So that's good to use a Torx head because aluminum is so soft. If you use like an Allen type head, uh, you know, if someone tightens it too this too tight, it might strip the. Uh, um, they might strip the um, they might strip it out. Alright, so here's the fender. If we take this take that off, right? Set that aside. Okay, now we have all the bolts here exposed. So we gotta separate this this piece out here. Okay. So let's see, so there's six Allen heads, it looks like they're number four or number five. So six of them. Not sure how many I need to take off. See, and on this side, there's actually uh, four, four plus head. Remember, these are, since this is a Japanese uh, bike, uh, it's not uh, it's not Phillips, okay. So a lot of people think that these are Phillips. These these are actually uh, these plus heads are actually uh, Japanese industrial standard JIS, uh, and that's what I have here is a it's a JIS uh, plus head screwdriver. If you use a Phillips, it doesn't you know, the geometry is different on the on the head, and it doesn't fit quite right. You know, there's a little bit of slop to it, and, and a Phillips will actually strip your uh, your bolt heads. But this Japanese JIS screwdriver and with the JIS uh, screw head. It fits nice and snug. There's no stop whatsoever. There's no play in it whatsoever. So, uh, so it, that way it doesn't strip your uh, your uh, your screws. So let's 
So let's see. So I need to take those off. Let me take those off first before I take those the bolts off. So it's screwed onto uh, to this piece here, which is plastic. So when you do this mod, you actually lose the uh, tail light. Uh, the, excuse me, the license plate light, uh, which is actually okay with me. The good thing about this. Um, but this the LED tail light that that this comes with is that it's actually pretty bright and it sort of it sort of uh, makes it so you can kind of see the license plate a little bit. So so it seems like there's a light there. Cause usually those lights are really dim to begin with, anyways. Not you know, a lot of them are not very bright. Um, Four off. And you see all the, uh, you see all the uh, little bits of, of uh, plastic in it. This is not a clean, uh, you know, the screw. It's not clean. It's, it's uh, um, what do they call these things? These, they, uh, well, there's interruption to that to the this to the screw shape that actually helps dig into the plastic and it helps hold hold it better than than say a regular. Uh, uh, than regular threads and these threads are like they're like serrated threads sort of so they uh, they hold into the onto the plastic a lot much better all right those are off let's see what else I need to remove from here uh, push this little clip here on the tail light on the back side, there's a clip to it. Just need to find a spot where it's supposed to, where where the, it attaches. Just let's see. Can't see it. Yeah, I can't see where it attaches. It's kind of tough. I'll do that later. All right, let's do these hex, these Allen heads. So I believe these are, oops, these are, uh, yeah, these are four millimeters. So let's look at this and remember which ones, which goes where. So the one closest to the uh, bike is uh, all the silvers and the, and the back end is uh, all the blacks. Lots of times when I do this stuff, I forget where what goes where, and when I put things back, I'm like, wait, what, which which one went where? And I waste a lot of time trying to figure that out. And the silver one's a lot tighter too, a lot a uh, lot more pressure on there. I think the, the head, the screw head back there. No, the screw head's not spinning. The 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 the, uh, the nut. I mean, the nut's actually welded on the back side, so I feel a lot of resistance. So mm. yeah, that's that's why there's resistance because there's a little bit of. Uh, they actually have a little bit of a. Uh, of, uh, looks like some type of Loctite in there. That's what I was feeling. So that's what I was feeling. Watch out for these little button washers. So they're not really flat washers. You see how they have a little step on them. So be mindful of that. Same with the black one. Here's the button head washers. Well, not button, but step. So it's like a little washer with a step on it. Okay. 
for the plate kind of backside drop. So this plate dropped out. So actually this is the plate that we're getting rid of. Oh, so maybe I didn't need to take the, the two silver ones off. Anyways, now I could get to the back side of this. Uh... Oops, now I get to the back side of this, this and I can see where to squeeze it so I could pull it out without ripping it apart. I'll do this. We get rid of this plate here, I think, because uh, that's you know, if you look at this thing, this plate goes like that, and we're actually hacking this thing off somewhere down right here. So basically, you don't need this uh, this plate at all. I believe. Let's see. What else? I think that's about it. Uh, let me see. So what does Graves say to cut the... Uh... What does Graves say to cut uh, the part? So Graves, you know, on the picture, they show the picture like this. They actually say to cut... Uh, Cut it along right here, basically like that. So if you look at the line of my screwdriver, right across like that. So that way you can still use those four black, you know, the black head uh, bolts that were up here. But uh, oh, I'm bleeding. So how did how did I cut? Where did, how did I cut myself? I didn't feel that. Okay, well that's sort of the thing when you do mechanical work. Also, every once in a while you cut yourself and you bleed. What the heck got me? I didn't feel it at all. But anyways, so you cut across right here where what you know Graves is. You are basically uh, behind where the those bolts are, and also and where those the back side of the bolts is where the steel plate still is. So you're basically cutting just past that, and. Uh, and you should be good. Okay, so I'm gonna stop the video here, clean the cut off a little bit, put a band-aid on it, and, uh, and I'm gonna make another video of cut, cutting this off.